Hi, and welcome to video number six. In this specific video, you're going to learn how to set up, follow, and interact with your Pinterest users. So we're gonna show you how to set it up properly from start to using it. So let's go ahead and go to Pinterest. When you first click on the Pinterest invite, you're gonna be presented with this page. Pinterest first wants to know what kind of subject matters do you like? So it's going to begin to show you a list of pictures. And as you keep scrolling down, you may not see any pictures that you like. So it's gonna scroll down until you find five pictures that you like. So basically go through it and figure out which pictures relate to your business and to your company. Once you do that, simply click on continue. Now you're going to have two choices. You can either connect with your Facebook account or with your Twitter account. Now keep in mind, if you sign up with your Facebook account, then it's actually going to show up on your personal profile. So unless you want it to show up on your personal profile, I would not put it on the Facebook account. Now, the only option now is to simply log in with Twitter. And of course, if you don't want to connect it with your Twitter account, you can always go to Twitter and easily sign up with a brand new account. Facebook does not like you to create a brand new account, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go to the Twitter route. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my username and password for my Twitter account and click on remember me and click on sign in and click on sign in again. And I want to create and created a Twitter account with my name that is related to this. So I'm going to say cooking desserts. And I'm going to enter my email and then click on create an account. And after that, Pinterest is going to send you a confirmation email. So you're going to need to verify that email. And once you're done with that, you are done. And after that, they're going to forward you to a page. And on that page, you're going to see a bunch of videos and images. Now, Pinterest from the pictures that you chose earlier, it's going to attempt to show you what you might like. So the fact that I chose the desserts, these pictures are showing up. And this kind of gives me an idea of possibly what my audience would also look like. So you've got food, you've got a mommy cooking, you've got uh, exercise, gym, other types of food exercise equipment and so forth and so forth. So from other users who picked kind of the images that I chose, uh, this is what Pinterest is suggesting. Now a method that you will want to use when you first get started is to find people with a large following and follow them. And if they follow you back, then you'll definitely get more eyes to your profile. Now, before you do that, you need to make sure that you're, uh, you're posting, you're pinning, you're uh, repinning stuff and uh, follow those people and repin their stuff. When you repin their stuff, they get credited if they are the original author. And guess what? They're the law of reciprocation. You know, they're going to feel like, wow, you know, you just repin my stuff. I'm going to repin and this and that. So to do that, you can go back to the top and click on popular. And you can also view things in categories. And we have, look, we're looking for cooking, uh, food and drink. And if we look under popular,
we can see pictures that have gotten a lot of likes. And food and drink here, we can go search through and see uh, which pictures are getting a lot of likes and so forth. And let's say we have found a specific person. Now, before we actually begin to add them, you probably want to edit your profile. So what you need to do at the top here is click on your name here. And you're going to be brought to this page here. And you can add your about here. And obviously I'm not a female, but, you know, this could be a pen name of mine. And I could do have a about section here. I love cooking, desserts, such as cookies. Let's say I'll just say I love cooking desserts and ex cooking and experimenting with desserts. If you love desserts, all right, so that kind of sounds weird. But anyways, I'm going to put that there anyways. And this website here, I can put my uh, website link to my cookbook if I choose to do so. I can upload an image here and you can also refresh from Twitter if your image at Twitter comes over here and you can log in with Facebook and can change that later but I, I would not do that unless you want to tie your Facebook account to here and you can hide from your Pinterest profile from the search engines I would hide it until you have a good following and until you are uh, settled so we'll go ahead and click save profile and currently I have no boards here I'm going to show you how to create a board in the future videos but I'm going to hop back over to this section here under food and drink and I'm going to try to find a picture that relates similar to uh, what I'm trying to sell in my cookbook so let's say for example desserts And let's say cupcakes, we got caramel apple cupcakes. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you can see each person has a like. Uh, this only has one like, so I'm going to go back to the top here. I'm going to go backtrack. And I'm going to click on cupcakes. Type in cupcakes in the search bar. And as you can see here, you've got 443 likes. That's a lot of likes. So we probably want to figure out who these people are and try to follow them. So let's click on this one. Uh, let's see what people are saying. We got 2,411 repins, 443 likes. Uh, so what I would normally do would be I would like it. And after I click on like, I'm going to click on follow. Now, obviously, Christina may not follow me unless, you know, she looks on my account and sees that I've got, you know, boards created and other cupcake boards created. So that's why I say set up everything first and then start liking. But you can interact, as you can see, it's very e easy to interact. So I could post a comment and I'll just rinse and repeat and go back and forth. Now, as you can see here, uh, Christina Holland has posted this, this, and this, and she got 444 likes, 500 likes, and 200 likes here. So she's definitely someone that a lot of people follow and if I can get her to follow me and then I can provide you know help her out and stuff like that then you never know but you definitely need to create those boards and so forth before you really really interact to the fullest and begin to repin things and I'm actually going to show you how to create a board in the next video